Well, I was glad when they said unto me. I was glad when they said unto me. Yes, I was glad when they said unto me. Let us go to the house of the Lord. Well, I was glad when they said unto me. I was glad when they said unto me. Yes, I was glad. Seated. Amen. I'll ask my wife to come at this time if she would. Praise the Lord. Uh, we want to uh, thank you for all the, the love and the compassion, the generosity that you've shown us this week uh, in celebrating our 39th anniversary. Amen. I uh, appreciate you very much and all the things, and you have just blessed us uh, richly this week and all the, the hugs and the handshakes and the comments and the gifts and all that you've done and all the cards, we appreciate you so very much. And want to uh, thank the ladies that uh, prepared the party and uh, the celebration. And uh, you've done a great job and just love you very much. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Also want to remind you that today, we're this morning, we're starting a revival. And so we'll be in revival this week with Evangelist Grady Watson. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. So be sure and tell all of your friends and all of those uh, uh, acquaintances to come Monday and Tuesday night. And let's just have a great time of the Lord. Amen. And just let God have his way and his will. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Also, uh, we'll, in a moment, we'll be receiving our offering. And so be sure uh, in that offering, be prepared to give. Amen. To our evangelist, uh, anything that is not designated tithes or, or missions, or building fund, or it's not designated in that area, we'll go to our speaker this morning. Amen. Also, uh, we want to uh, be sure and um, uh, to uh, let you know that the uh, February the 17th, on that Wednesday night, we will have our uh, annual business meeting. Uh, we were going to, Pastor Justin, I know I told you the 10th, but we were going to have it the 10th, but since we... We're going to be in revival this week. I knew it was going to rush us. So we're going to do that February the 17th on that Wednesday night. All the classes will be dismissed on the 17th, and we will have our business meeting here in the sanctuary. Everybody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Also, uh, our board members be prepared to have a board meeting next Sunday at 5 o'clock, next Sunday afternoon at 5 o'clock. Amen. Praise the Lord. On that note, which will be the uh, first Sunday in February, since we are having the uh, banquet on the 6th, uh, we will not be having WMs next Sunday as normal on the first Sunday. So just keep that in mind. We will not have WMs. Um, and our, our Valentine's banquet will be f uh, this coming Saturday, February the 6th at 5 o'clock. You can still get your tickets. We still have some left. See Sister Linda or myself and we'll get you hooked up for a ticket and uh, especially some of our younger couples we'd like to see some of uh, more of y'all sign up to go uh, and would appreciate you coming we will be having spaghetti and lasagna so uh, it'll be a good <coughs> meal and a good time and then the following sunday february the 14th we will be having our chocolate feast we did this last year and everybody was so gracious and so kind to make donations and this is a WM project and 
We'll have uh, goodies on the plate like we did last year, and it'll be $5 a plate, and you get a lot of candy for $5 or cupcakes. Is there going to be any bacon involved in that? <laughs> bacon, yes. Bacon. A, a, a little, yes. So we want to be uh, be sure and be prepared for that, and you can bring your stuff um, if you will. We'll put it together on that Saturday. So if you want to bring it on that Saturday, I uh, don't remember the time, Linda. What is that? What time we're going to put that chocolate plates together? Ten o'clock. Right. So bring it Saturday morning if you can, and uh, we're going to be prepared to sell it right after service on Sunday morning. Okay, February fourteenth. We have nursery for the children that uh, need nursery, and we, our missionary focus for this week is Mike and Dee Luton, and be sure and remember your missionary. Praise the Lord. Also, we are excited to uh, announce that we are moving forward uh, on uh, getting set up to uh, streamline our, our stream our services on the internet. Uh, we at, right now we are putting our, our program in the nursery. We have a, a screen there, and so they're able to see the service in the nursery. And then uh, we are the next stage. We will be uh, posting our services on YouTube. And so, and then after that, we after I, I thought we would like to practice for a little while in that area until we put uh, started going streamline our live services on on the internet. So. We are excited about that and appreciate your uh, uh, support and worship and attendance and just having, having church. Amen? Amen? Praise the Lord. Uh, we're excited because we're going to be able to reach outside of uh, these four walls and out, outside of uh, Hot Spring County. And to, uh, I, I noticed a post on Facebook when they were asking questions about uh, the uh, service that would be streamlined later on. They said, uh, this lady from California said, I will be able to see it in California. And Pastor Justin said, you sure will. Amen. So we, we have a lot of people that are friends with us on Facebook and that are anxious to get as we get our website set up so that they can uh, be um, watching in the service on that. And while I'm saying that, uh, Steve, you cannot stay home and watch uh, the Super Bowl and the service at the same time, okay? No, you can't do that. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you would stand, let's invite the presence of the Lord. How many knows that that's the main thing? Amen. We want Jesus in the house. Amen. Amen. We want God up in this place. Glory to God. Gracious Father, we thank you, Lord, for the privilege to be in this place. We've come, oh God, to just offer ourselves to you. And Lord, that we might worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord, that we might flow in the direction of your spirit. Lord, I pray that you'd let us be a wind, a, a feather in your wind, oh God. Lord, just have your will and your way. Let every song that is sang, every word that is spoken, oh God, bring glory to you. And Lord, point, oh Lord, and direct us to our altar service as souls will be saved and life changed and touched by your precious word, oh God, and your presence. Lord, we love you, Lord, and we glorify you. And we give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' precious name and everybody said amen. amen praise the Lord if you would take just a moment of time and turn around and greet someone in the precious name of Jesus amen brother Bob would you come this morning
can give me, don't you? Glory to God. Woo, glory. Hallelujah. I got victory in Jesus. Hallelujah. I heard an old, old story.
precious blood that brought us the victory. Glory to God. Amen. You may be seated this morning. Praise the Lord. We're going to ask for ushers to prepare to receive our tithes and offerings this morning. Praise the Lord. I want to remind you to, uh, if you anything that's not designated tithes or missions or building fund, uh, then we'll go to our speaker. How many knows that uh, the Bible said that a, a workman is worthy of his hour? Amen. And so uh, we want to be a blessing to the man of God. We want to bless his ministry and sow into that ministry. And as we do, then we can reap, amen, that hundredfold blessing. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Bro Brother Chad, would you bless our offering this morning? Oh, hallelujah to the prince of 
that are on our prayer list and also we want to remember Pastor Roger this morning not feeling well hold him up in prayer and those that are on our list amen if you are here this morning and you have a need that you would like to signify but lift the hand the Lord knows your need and your situation let's just present these needs to the Lord this morning gracious Father we thank you Lord Lord that we can come to you O Lord in faith and know Lord, beyond a shadow of a doubt, Lord, that you are a provider, our healer, our sustainer, our deliverer. And Lord, we, oh Lord Jesus, stand in the gap and we build the hedge right now. We present these to you, oh Lord, and we pray, God, that you'd move mightily, oh God, in their lives, oh Lord. Bring healing and health and restoration and, Lord, deliverance, oh God. You know the situation. And Lord, we just stand, oh God, believing, believing and speaking, oh God. And knowing, oh God, that you supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory. Lord, we just praise you, Lord. We glorify you, oh Lord Jesus. We give you praise. Hallelujah. This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Your my daily bread this is my daily bread your very word spoke to me and I
give the Lord a hand clap of praise this morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. How many knows we have something to shout about? You know, every time I sing that song, I, I think about that lame man that was laid at that beautiful gate. You know, all of his life, amen, he, amen, he was moving up in life. You see, that place at the gate was a very prosperous place. And so as he made his way to that gate called beautiful, amen, then he was moving up. But after a while at that beautiful gate, as he could hear the worship and the praise and the glory of God, amen, in the church, his desire was to enter in. It was to enter in, hallelujah, if one day, amen, two men of faith walked by and said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I thee. And he, walking, leaping, and shouting, entered into that church service, hallelujah. Glory to God. We got something to shout about.